Hi, you guys. How are you? It is the 31st of July. Can you guys believe that it's, tomorrow's August 1st? Um, I'm sitting here in my car because um, <laughs> cause I can't talk in my house. It's like my husband's home and he's got the, the, the TV blaring and, and we just got back from Rapid City. Um, and then my girls are in there doing a bunch of stuff, getting ready for fair. And we got posters going and just all sorts of stuff. So it's just kind of... It's just kind of loud. So that, well, I'm going to go to my car really quick and make a quick video and just kind of give an update on on today on how things went with um, with my um, surgeon. I went and saw my doctor who I just adore. I would just love to go have coffee with her or something. She's so, she's just awesome. And um, her name is Dr. Mary Snyder. And I told her today that I'm going to talk about her on YouTube because I'm going to show my scars um I have got my garment on now, but I am going to show my scars here for the next couple days. They look really, really good. She just is like, Tina, you're healing really well. And if you do what I tell you to do, you're really going to have minimal scar. Because it's, it's over six, little over 16 inches in length, so it's pretty big. She said today that she took out... I was talking to her, and she's a tiny little thing, and I, I said, oh, you know, I was hoping, she says, well, how, what do you think, and I, and, I, and I said, I'm really, you know, I told her how hard it was, you know, the first, because um, I haven't seen her since the day after my surgery, and it's been three weeks, so she said, you know, what's been going on, and everything, and I told her, you know, about the pain, and just some of the problems I had with um, the constipation from the pain meds, and that kind of stuff, and, um, and everything, and the, the stitch that had um, came undone and it is open. She didn't restitch me. I have a little hole in my armpit, but she said we're going to massage through it and that should be okay. It might be a little bit wider, but it's in an area where she said it's hard. Um, it's just hard. I pulled it. I did. I made the bed and, um, so quickly, what else did she say? Um, she said that, um, I, um, am healing really well. I can lift, um, up to like 20 pounds. She does, she says do cardio, you know, hiking, walking, um, as far as going back to barefoot fitness and getting back in with kettlebells and dragging tire. Mm -mm, not right now. She says, I don't want you swinging kettlebells. She, I have some bands at home and she wants me to just start kind of stretching a little bit, but if it feels like it's gonna, it's pulling, then she wants me to stop. So she's just, Tina, she's all, I know you've been working out, so you, I'm trusting that you're, you know, what you're doing. Oh, I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take it slow. I'm going tomorrow night. I'm going to walk. She's all, you know what, Tina, start out slow. You haven't worked out in, you know, in a month. Uh, rough, well, I, I take that back. I walked out, I walked the night before, um, my surgery. I did like five miles, but, um, she said, take it slow because it's been a while since you've worked out and just, if your arms, like right now my arms are hurting. I mean, we went to Rapid City, went out to eat and I, I like to go like to like a, like a fancy restaurant and get like a piece of salmon and some broccoli and that's my thing and water with lemon or whatever. That's just kind of my thing. I my protein and my veggies and today, uh, I'm, that's another video. I had a salad with grilled chicken and some stuff and my dressing was not the healthiest choice, but, um, that's okay. <laughs> Is it okay? I hope it's okay. Um, I was just, I was talking to somebody, um, I was talking to, you know, Julie, and I just, I, I was texting her and I was like, I just feel like kind of guilty. Like I ate like the dressing that wasn't the healthiest dressing, but it was what I wanted. Hadn't had it, I haven't had it in over two years. But it was just what I wanted. And I don't feel like I needed, like, I don't call it a treat. Like I treated myself, which I just wanted it. So I had it. It, it was fine. It was good. But, you know, anyway, I think I'm going to make a video about that. Um, but she told me about my arms. I want to go back to my arms. This is a brachioplasty. This is the, my video talking about my surgery. Um, it, um, we got just animals all over the place. Sorry. Um, she said my arms will be bigger because she cut into my arm. She explained to me how she, she went, how she did it. And she went as far as she could. There's so much muscle mass. She says, I cut right to the muscle. And she's all, if I would have cut into the muscle, which I, we don't do, but she's like, if I would have cut, you do, if you cut, um, 
at the muscle, right, like right on the muscle, number one, it's really painful, and number two, uh, it doesn't close. So she's all, you are all muscle, and just, just that's just how it's going to be. So I guess I'm just going to pick her arms. <laughs> My husband, Steve's is like, okay, well, great, she'll be great on the farm. I'm like, So that's good news. So I feel good. It was great seeing her. Um, it, it, she says, I'm just doing really well. I, so I've been released to get back walking. I cannot wait to get doing that. I will start off slow. Um, my girls are happy. You know, she just said, though, you know, like laundry baskets and stuff. She says, just be careful. You know, she's like, you are pulled because you have so much muscle. I ha and I, it's so tight in there. I'm not, it is so tight. It is like hard tight. She said six weeks at the six, I'm at three week mark. She said six week mark, it's going to peak at like, I said, how, like really tight. I'm like, how can it get any tighter? It feels like it's just going to rip. She's all, I put hundreds of stitches in there, Tina. It, it, it will take a force of nature to rip it. Now you go deadlifting 150 pounds like you want to do. You, yeah, you, you might be ripping some stitches, which, so Anyway, we just had a great talk, and what I love about this doctor is I didn't feel rushed. You know how sometimes, I mean, I'm sure you've all been to the doctor, and it's like they're there. I mean, I've paid her a lot of money, and, I, and you know, you know, you think, okay, I mean, she's paid in full that she could just be like, um, hi, yeah, it looks great. She spent probably a good 15 minutes with Steve and I talking to us and just visit like we're friends, and, and I just really that makes me feel good. So I'm going to see you in a month and I'm going to keep seeing you. And I ordered another compression garment, a size smaller than what I'm wearing now. She's all your arms. She's all, I said, I'm drinking a ton of water and I'm really eating healthy. Other than that salad I had tonight was not the healthiest choice of dressing, but, um, I have been doing really well. And so, um, yeah, she saw, so when you lose the rest of your weight, come back and, uh, <laughs> we'll see what else we can fix. Um, it's so funny because you're in a, in a plastic, I, I've never had plastic surgery or had that experience. And it's so interesting because there's like girls in there and there was a lady who must have had her, you know, breasts done and then, um, Botox injections and there's all people coming out and their faces all, someone must have had a facelift and their faces all, you know, bruised. And it's just, um, it was really, you know, my husband's sitting there going, oh my word, you know, <laughs> cause he, were, he was the only guy and they were all women. Um, but anyway, um. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, this probably wasn't real quick. But, um, yeah. There was something else I wanted to say to you guys, and I, I can't think. Oh. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to try and watch some videos tonight. Um, my husband's home until Thursday when he leaves again. So, um, there's 300 square bales. If any of y'all are up here on the prairie and want to help, <laughs> good thing they're too heavy for me to live because I can't do it. <laughs> there's 300 square bales of alfalfa that needs to be unloaded off the trailer tomorrow. So, I cannot do that. But, anyway. Um, Alright, guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.